Today we're giving you the inside scoop on everything your man tries to keep private about what goes on below the belt. We're joined by urologist Dr. David Josephson. All right, so here's a question from a woman who's worried about her boyfriend's friends. Hey doctors, so I just read somewhere that smoking pot can cause testicular cancer. I know my boyfriend smokes a lot of pot and I was just wondering, should I be worried about him? You know, you have to be careful anytime you use these words cause, but a 2012 USC study did find an association between marijuana use and non-seminoma testicular cancer. So men who had testicular germ cell tumors two times more likely to report having used marijuana. But it, again, there's no cause effect there. Well, maybe it's because you're sitting down so much. You're, yeah. not, you're not moving around, eating a lot it's of a, junk food. Chicken or the egg phenomenon. But what, right? yeah, what is your so opinion So it's on a this? case control study. You can't make any uh, recommendations that, you know, yeah, marijuana use is directly linked to causing testicular cancer. There was an earlier study that had the same relationship. 70% of the men who had testis cancer were more likely to have smoked marijuana in the past. There's some scientific data that shows that cannabis or the compound of cannabis has an impact on the hormonal process in the body, LH and testosterone, impacting the way it binds to receptors. So it may alter the pathway, and that's the reason that it's been linked to testis cancer. But as a direct cause, I'm not sure if it's a direct now, cause. Now, how about with sperm motility and sperm count? Absolutely. There's been, mm -hmm. some, there's been some research that has yeah. actually shown that marijuana does impact sperm motility and sperm production. They, other risk factors for testis cancer other than marijuana are, you know, age, it's age dependent. It's a common uh, tumor in men from in the age of 20 to 40. Uh, people that have had an undescended testicle as a childhood, you know, they're born with a testicle that has been stuck in the inguinal canal and is slowly descended down but not reached the scrotum. They're at higher risk for developing testis cancer in certain uh, climates. So men in Scandinavia actually higher, have a higher risk of testis cancer than some men in uh, parts of uh, Africa and Asia. So those are the biggest risk factors for, for testis cancer. And, and most of your patients who are diagnosed with testicular cancer, have they found the tumor on their own, uh, just noticed something irregular, or is this something where you know, they're coming in for other reasons and you notice the, something? The majority of the time they come in because they're freaked out about a testicle that's twice the size as the other side. It's swollen, uh, trauma is a frequent presenting symptom. They come in like, hey, look, this one is a little bit off. It's been like that for, for a while, but I was a little embarrassed to come in. And then you do an ultrasound, and sure enough, they have a tumor in there. When it's fairly advanced, though, you can have symptoms that present as metastasis, you know, difficulty breathing when it's involving the lungs, mm -hmm. back pain because it's involving the lymph nodes uh, behind the, the kidneys, shortness of breath. Uh, when exercising because it's involving the other structures. So very treatable if you notice it early Absolutely. on. So if you notice, gentlemen out there, if you notice any abnormality in your testicles, ladies, same goes for you. If you notice any abnormalities in your men's uh, private parts, send them right then and there. The longer you wait, the more likely it's going to become a very big problem.